Yeah. Hey everyone. What is this again? It's a rabbit. No, no, no. In the hole. Down the cabana hole. Down the cabana hole. Yeah. Down the cabana hole. Down the cabana hole. And what is Cabana Hole, Down the Cabana Hole, brought to us by today, Devin? Uh, my trip to Hawaii and this wonderful 16-year... Uh, la Lagavulin. Lagavulin, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We Lagavulin. Have, we, we have non-European white people tongue. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Big so, time. I was in Hawaii, and this was uh, actually $20 cheaper than it is here in Oregon. So. So this is a scotch drink. Bought in Hawaii. Bought in Hawaii. Brought back to Oregon. Brought to Oregon. Yeah. Because we're living in a smaller world these days, boys yes. and girls. Yes. And that's uh, that's a good thing. Yes. So this is episode three. Yeah. Episode three of Down, yes. down the Cabana Hole. Down the Cabana it Hole. Just, that sounds really nasty. It does. Down the Cabana Hole. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brought to you by Lagavulin. I don't know how you say it. Don't give me too much. I got several other drinks I need to get through tonight, too. Oh, no. Because, well, <coughs> first, a toast. Hold a toast. on. We got to We got to first. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, so good. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. And cheers to you at home, wasting your time watching this video. Both of you. That's pretty darn tasty. That is tasty. Yeah. It's got a nice smoky, nice smokiness. You could smell it. Not as smoky as uh, as what oh. I use for my smoky cokey, but... Smoky cokey? Yeah. What's a smoky cokey? Uh, Scott. It's really, really yeah. smoky scotch. It's, get, it's getting cold. We, I don't know why we're doing this this time of year. So uh, what is it again? I wasn't paying attention. Smoky scotch and, and oh. coke. Smoky right. cokey. <laughs> Smoky Cokey. I yeah, and I use uh, the cheap, it's cheaper, it's like $50 a fifth. Ah, that's cheaper? Well, cheaper than this. Really? This is like $90 a fifth, and I paid 70 69 at Costco in, in Kona. Wow. Yeah, man, I bring out the big guns for your last drinking. Yeah, that's why I said I've got several drinks to go through, because, okay, we need a, a good alcohol. For, for this evening, but today, because we're not filming this on Thursday when this shows, no, because it takes me a while. I'm a busy guy, but it takes me a while to finally He's get it lazy. posted. Uh, the thing is, today is Mardi Gras. Yeah, Mardi Gras. So of course, it's been a while since I I'm, I'm going to have myself a hurricane as well. Oh, okay. We yeah. had we had red beans and rice, uh, some shrimp gumbo, some uh, some nice uh, sausage jambalaya stuff and then Chelsea, Chelsea and I made some beignets. Oh nice. Did you hear that that place closed? Yeah, Nola's. It pissed me Christina's off. Christina's happy. She hated that place. Why? She didn't like it. She went in there when it opened, the beignets weren't ready. They're like, oh you gotta come back at 1030 and she was just like, F you guys. <laughs> oh man, but they were real beignets, folks. They were real. They were legit. Well, you know, when your customers come to purchase and you don't have any ready, uh, you're not going to stay in business very long. There's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's a business model. We can be talking about a business model today. Okay. That's a good business model to actually deliver. <laughs> yes, deliver. deliver. <laughs> what you said you're going to do. Yeah. If you say you're going to sell beignets, perhaps when you open, they should have some ready. I mean, just saying. Yeah. That's a good point. It's a valid point. And if you're not going to have them ready when you open, maybe you should open later. Yeah. But then you would be ready. Just saying. Yeah. Well, anyhow, so since today is Mardi Gras, i got to have the hurricane. So okay, I'll first I'll start with this. It's going to be drastically different from this because cocktail alone is going to be sweeter. Yeah. A hurricane, yeah. yeah. But now, see, we used to live in New Orleans, yeah. and... Uh, Hurricanes down there are a bit stronger. Yeah. Um, You're also old now. Can't, yeah. Just can't hack it. Well, and also, I then need to have a margarita because tomorrow is National Margarita Day. Oh. And I don't get to have one tomorrow. Why? Because tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. <coughs> so, so Ash Wednesday <coughs> is, a, is a... Where does that... Uh, where is that generated from? Uh... It's what the early church began to to not celebrate, but to commemorate the 
that 40 days leading up to Christ's crucifixion. Okay. And um, so, so that's why they do Lent. So and what Lent is about is fasting, yeah. eliminating something. And and I choose this year to eliminate alcohol. Oh. Yeah, everybody seems to think that I can't do this. Come on, man. We've all met you. I'm not an alcoholic. You just like your alcohol a lot. I just choose not well, to stop drinking. Congratulations to. Well, that's uh, not the only one. Having some self control. I'm I'm also giving up. Uh, TV. Yeah, but you have an asterisk next to that, so I don't want to hear it. Well, okay. Sorry, you're not really giving no, up. No, okay, but here's what I'm giving up. See, everybody needs, really, this is, this is a life lesson, a life lesson. Okay. Everybody, everybody needs their, their little, not a lot, if it's too much, then you're just a narcissistic jack wagon, but a little bit of me time, right? Am I right? Yes, I'm right. And my moment... It used to be Julie and the kids, they're all in bed. Now it's just Julie. Yeah. She's in bed. It's all quiet. Get myself a nice glass of wine. Get some cheese But you and can't meat. have wine because you're right, not that, that, alcohol. I'm talking okay. about all right. okay. we're getting Got to it. the TV part. All right. The cheese and meat and crackers and wine and, and olives. And, and then I just watch a little tube, you know, on the TV late at night. And I eat that. And then I go to bed. Okay. Well... That's a, that's a me moment that will now get changed because one, I won't be having the wine, and two, I won't be watching the tube. So the only excuse I get for watching the TV is if I'm working out. So then, why don't, instead of saying, I'm not going to watch TV, why don't you say, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do my late night. Yeah, you're veg you're moment. cutting your late night veg, which is good because you're eating late and you're filling your stomach and all that's well, turning into fat while you're sleeping and you're turning into. No, a no, no. That's bull. And that's that what is you're bullshit. Cutting. That's no, what you're cutting. No, that's bullshit. But that makes sense. The whole, that's what I've you're heard cutting. this before. I've heard this before. Where people say, "Oh, well, it's when you eat. It's not when you eat. It's calories in, calories out." I I'm just saying. It doesn't that's matter what you're when you up. eat. That's what you're giving up. But yeah, that's what I'm giving up. You're not really giving up TV. You're giving up that moment where you're watching TV. Well, and and also because there are a couple of shows that the fetching misses and I like to watch together, nice. and that would rob her. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this. She for can her. still watch them. You can abstain. No, but it's it's an us moment. It's like it's, it's like a... the couple before marriage. It's all about abstinence. <laughs> Come on, that was good. All right. You're not abstaining, sir. You're putting all these asterisks around. I've decided to only have those moments with my wife, which is what it was supposed to be in the first place. Yeah. At least that's, you know. I'm not giving up anything. Well, that's fine. Except for 5% of my pay. <laughs> Thank you, Intel. <laughs> At least I still have a job, so there's that. There's that. Job. Cheers to Stan. Man, you're already out. I Almost. I don't mess around, man. Well, I think you gave me a little bit more. I'm a seasoned drinker after coming back from Hawaii. Mm. I drank a fifth and a half in th three days. <laughs> well, but I remember one night you and I went through a fifth here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but let's see. Saturday night? No, Friday <laughs> night. Friday night. We went to Murph's for dinner. He made pulled pork enchiladas. Oh, so good. Real, so that's like real pulled pork because it's in Hawaii. No. He didn't cook it like that. No. He's not. But still, it's pulled that. pork in Hawaii. It was pulled pork in Hawaii. That's more than pulled pork in Oregon. Yeah. <clears throat> My pulled pork is better. Well, yeah. But uh, This guy right here, he's the pulled pork king. Of this two-house <clears throat> radius. No, I would say of at least three block radius. At least. Well, you haven't had that guy's yet. No, that's true. That's so true. he could be better than me. You never know. We still need to have a cook-off. We should summer. have a cook-off this summer. Yeah. yeah. So I had pulled pork enchiladas. They were quite tasty. They right. were quite tasty. And I started with, uh, with bourbon and, and Diet Coke. Okay. I had about three of those. And then, uh, <clears throat> and not, not a cup. <clears throat> a cup. And uh, when Murphs went from Keystone Light to box wine, <laughs> I went to uh, distilled wine in a wine glass. Ah, cognac. You actually, you actually drink wine. 
cognac. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's distilled not wine. wine. It's distilled, distilled wine. wine. Right. It's essentially distilled wine. Right. Well, you know that uh, Remy Martin or whatever that it's super expensive. It's like $90 a fifth cognac. Costco has their Kirkland Signature brand. Right. Which is $50. And it's the exact same thing. How do you know it's the Because I looked it up on the internet, and the internet never oh, lies. Oh, and the... <laughs> so I'm just going to say, internet never lies. The internet lies. never lies. No, but it's never. confirmed, right? <clears throat> the Kirkland vodka is Grey Goose. The Kirkland cognac is whatever that brand is. The I think the Kirkland uh, whiskey... It might be Jack Daniels. I can't remember. Mm. Um, it might not be. I can't remember. Could be I don't Joe think Daniels. No, anyways, but it's basically like it's basically like every store that has like like a Safeway brand or a Fred Meyer yeah, brand. Yeah. It's basically whatever it's sitting next to repackaged and less. Right. Right. But how does that work? How do you how do you make it less if it costs more? Because the name brand has a markup. <clears throat> so just because of the name, yeah, you pay more. Yeah. That's how it works, man. I need to be charging more for Doctor Roof. Yeah, it's all in the name. Because I've been at it for 30 years. 30 years this year. Yeah, but are you improving every year? <laughs> or are you just doing the same Shut up, shitty man! Work? <laughs> <laughs> but, no, you know, most things... We have happy customers. I know you do. And a few angry ones. <laughs> well, everybody has. And them. one that now has a hole in his ceiling. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, gosh. Anyways, let's talk about topics. I have a topic. Okay, you got a topic. He's got a topic. I was listening, so there's this lady uh, who has a television show, and... Uh, Hurricane. It's on National Geographic, and she basically goes around, like, not really undercover, but kind of, like, digging out, like, the worst parts of humanity and, and talking about it. Jeez. Oh, it's actually why, really good. Well, but why do you want to fill your show viewing time with watching the I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched time. I thought about watching it but I haven't watched it yet but I listened to this interview mm -hmm. okay. and she said and they were asking her like what? you know like doesn't this like bring you down yeah like you know she was talking about guns and drugs and and one my topic is specifically one that she talked about and I'll get to it in a second but she said you know I like to get to the root of Ooh. the humanity Right. And most of the people that are actually doing this work don't really have any options. It's the big boss. No, no, let me finish. Uh -huh. It's the big boss and the people that are running it that are really bad people. But if you think like drugs, right? The little guy like doing the thing in the field doesn't really have any options in most countries. Okay. Right? So what she said is, like, most of these people, given another option, would probably do something else. Now, the people at the top and the people that are really bad people, they don't. And she focuses on, like, the people that actually have some humanity to it. So, uh, right? Okay. So the one thing that <clears throat> piqued my interest was about, you know, stealing people's organs. So she did one on, you not, know... Not the pianos... No, organs, no, no, like, but keep like human body beings organs. organs. Like stealing of organs and selling them on the black market. <laughs> and she said... How do you... I mean, the person knows it's been stolen, right? Well, oftentimes, uh, they don't know until after the fact. They wake up, and they've got a scar, Whoa. and they're all messed up. Like they go... Is it like they were in at the doctor's? No. And no, 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 no. Just they're walking down the street, next thing they know, they're waking up Yeah, with a yeah. Stitch. And so she was... So <laughs> Where the she was talking, once was. She was talking... There's a road. Wow. There's a road from somewhere in South America, like all the way to Canada. Mm -hmm. And somewhere in... Somewhere in... Somewhere in Central America or something, like it's really bad. Like drug lords and everything. Okay. And the okay. people that are coming... I gotta, go ahead. I gotta... Okay, go ahead. It's a rabbit hole. Okay. I know about this road because I was driving, uh, doing some bids one day. Okay. And I see this car, stickers all over it, and the map. Mm. They were on their way up to the northernmost part. They were taking that road up, and it showed cool. all the places that they marked up. That's cool. That was pretty cool. So she Continue. interviewed She interviewed this guy. Or, she... or since... Siga. Go ahead. Siga. Continue. Oh. <laughs> she uh, interviewed this guy, which she said had no redeemable qualities and was the absolute worst person. He was the butcher. He's the one who actually cut these people up. Wow. 
And what he said was, and I'm going to go find this episode. Uh, what he said was, these people that are crossing, right? They don't have any people. Nobody's looking for them. They're right. migrating, right? Right. So they'll just get them and knock them out and take their organs. And sometimes they die. Sometimes they don't. And then they sell these organs on the black market. Wow. And one of the interesting things. So here's the interesting part. They interviewed a guy who bought the or one of the organs. And she's like, how could you do this? Yeah. And he said, I've been on the waiting list for seven years. And if I don't do this, I'm going to die. So the question is, Survival what if it fittest. was what if it was your kid? Or oh, yeah, what if it was yeah, your yeah. like and that was your only option to keep this person alive? Would you do it? Right. Would right. you do it? That's the question. Would you do it? That's it. I, I honestly don't think I would. Even if it was for someone I love dearly. And that's and that's because <clears throat> first off, it's not about this life. Okay, so that's fair. And and so it's it's not it's not my right to take somebody else's life. But it's going to happen just, anyway. Yeah. So that's that's in the hands of God. That's not in the hands of me. Oh, okay. It's tough. I don't now, think I can do it. I, there I, was one I time I was going to kill someone. I will admit. <laughs> but he fortunately got away. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. Well, you might have if you got away with it. No, there were way too many witnesses. <laughs> No, but... Did you hear... Speaking of that... Oh, no, no. No, this is Hold a good on. rabbit hole. No, no, this is a good rabbit hole. Okay. Intel Chandler, they were having a shift change in the fab, and in the cafeteria, a worker pulled out a bat and beat another dude to death in the cafeteria. Here? No, in Chandler, Arizona. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know where Chandler is. I it's thought like, that was just like one of the buildings or something. It is, but Chandler, Arizona is like 25 miles wow. south of Phoenix. Beat him to death. Why? In the cafeteria. They don't know. Like, it wasn't in the article. Okay. That is not good reporting. WTF. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they probably, like, haven't got that far. They just happened last night. Or this morning, I guess. Wow. It was, like, 5 a.m. in the shift change or 7 a.m. in the well, shift what, change. And what puts your mind over the top like that to do that? I don't know. And I guess he had, like, a knife and something else and... Somebody tried to come break it up, and that person got injured also, but didn't die. <coughs> yeah. I should swallow a nut, breathe it in. <laughs> Does it smell good? It's very sweet. Oh. I'm like, my blood sugar just rose 20 points just smelling that thing. Yeah, yeah. But it has alcohol in it, too. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. But not enough to, not enough to counteract the... It takes a lot of alcohol to counteract if your blood sugar is high. The sugar, yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem is they say when you're taking all the diabetes medication that you shouldn't drink a lot. If the medication is keeping it low and then you drink a lot, which also lowers your blood sugar, and then you can have uh, like a... An insulin reaction. Not an insulin reaction, but low blood sugar makes you pass out. Well, right. If you have too much insulin, you pass too out. <clears throat> too much insulin, you act like a drunk. Because oh. my dad was diabetic. <clears throat> and being, it was just him and me, and I'm a kid, um, I, he had a problem with, he would take his shot, and he would get busy reading or doing a project, and next thing you know, he's having an insulin reaction, and, and I might find him completely pass out. And I was just a kid, you know, I, I didn't know what to do, so I'd have to call the ambulance, and um, I didn't handle it well. I probably thought he was, did you think he was a drunk or something? Or did you, no, 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 you no. I knew what was going oh, okay. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew what was going on, but but I didn't I didn't know what to do, and and um, and there were a lot of things that developed anger issues in me as a young child. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And, but this is not a therapy session. It's just yeah. So what we were talking about was something else. Uh, it was this lady uh, talking about? Okay. Human behavior. Well, you were talking about murder, and that's what made me right, uh, right. think of that. Right, right. Made you think of that show. The murder. No, and the, the murder. Guy, and then the guy in, in Intel. In, in Intel. Yeah. So yeah. you were going to kill someone, and what happened? No, no. He. We're not. We're not going to go into great detail on this story. Oh. He was just murder. Better no, watch out. No. He got. You he, better just accept the fact that that his worker put his foot through your ceiling, I'm, and I'm, he'll I'm, fix it. But you better watch your back if no, you that start was my, talking that shit was about No, that was my employee that did yeah. that. They were... 
they were putting in a, a stem vent, uh, and he had to be in the attic to hook up the ducting, and um, missed the rafter or the whatever the hell that's called, and stepped on the on the drywall instead. Yeah. And went through. So there you have it. Yeah. Now you have to fix it. <clears throat> yeah. You know, if you were good at drywall, you could just go do it yourself. I need to get good at drywall, but you don't want to see my drywall repairs. You can tell where I punched the wall and put holes in the wall. So that was my topic. Mm. Would you do it? Your answer is no. Mine is probably not. I my, have a guilty conscience. My answer is I, I'm pretty darn certain that I would not. You can never say, oh, I would do this or I wouldn't do that. Under the right circumstance, you'd probably do I like, anything. I like... Uh, see, there... That, that is true, and that's one of the things that makes me, um, one of the sayings I have said many, many times, there but for the grace of God go I. It's real easy to look down on somebody else, but then you realize, you know, if the right circumstances in life had me going certain directions, yeah. Like that guy. I could have I I been field, that guy. In the poppy field, earning a dollar a right. day because he has no choice. Right? I thought you were going to say, like that guy in the cafeteria that beat <laughs> someone to death with a well, bat. That guy probably had a choice. Well, we all have choices. Yeah. But it's it it helps to to understand the things. But here's here's something that kind of goes along this human behavior thing, too. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for both of you probably already know this. Uh, my wife, the fetching missus, uh, last October got GBS and uh, Guillain-Barre Guillain syndrome, uh, which is where your immune system attacks your central nervous system and creates all kinds of pain. Some people can't walk. Some people get it so bad they can't breathe and they're on a respirator till their nerves start to heal again. Well, anyhow, what is fascinating is the people who did not reach out. It's very interesting. Because when you got a friend, friend, friend. <laughs> who's been a friend, friend for decades, and you don't hear shit, and yet that friend knows. For sure? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you said it to the person. You know, a person texts one day and says, Hey, you know, what's up, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I I can't walk <laughs> because I have G GBS. That's not that late. And I'm in, in Texas, pain. Is it? No, 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 no. No, Mary's okay. sweet as a... I was going to say, I'd be... Mary's an angel. I'd be really disappointed. I like that lady. No, it's, it's along those lines. It's somebody you go, wait a minute. We have hung out for years, and you're not going to say, oh, man... That sucks. I, I'm so sorry. Can How I do you doing? For you? Can, yeah. I, can I bring you dinner? Because even this guy has said that. And I suck. I'm an awful friend. But he makes great pulled pork. <laughs> and it's it's fascinating. And and okay, obviously, obviously these people don't hate Julie. Sure. They don't dislike her. Yet for some reason they have not reached out. And, and then the other surprising part is some of the people you never would have guessed. Bam! Right there. People that were acquaintances that are right there saying, how can I help? How can I help? And, and Well, I wonder this because let's think on the bright side. No, but this is, this is where I'm going. Okay. No, I am thinking on the bright okay. side because I really don't want to denigrate those people. Disparage. Disparage. Can't agree. Well, all, all good words in this case. I, I just remember I saw that on one of my little calendar things, you know, denigrate. <laughs> and I really liked that word, so I've been using it everywhere I can, and obviously yeah. I wasn't supposed to use it there. No, I think you were. I just <laughs> like disparage better. Disparage. Point is, um, it, it's fascinating what, um, what we can do without realizing how it comes across. Yeah. And, and so... Um, there are a few people, I'll be quite honest, Julie is just like going, no, I, I'm done with this person. I'm, no, if you can't reach out to me when I can't freaking walk, and I don't know if this is, because <clears throat> initially we didn't know what yeah, the hell was yeah, going on. I know. We were worried. We and, were texting and yeah, bringing yeah, yeah, food. Yeah. And yeah. It's good enough food that I was tempted to say, oh, it's going really bad. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can I ask <laughs> It's no, but it is really fascinating because you. Um, oh man, I need to hurry up because because we need to we on our end of the spectrum we need to extend grace to those people. Yes. Because. They obviously didn't mean to hurt us, but man, that hurts. That hurts. Well, okay, let's let's take their side. Yes, okay. let's and that's a, what that's what I want to get let's to. Let's take a possibility. Why? What are let's the reasons why? One of the reasons I think is how old are they? Um, same ages. Same age. Julie. Okay. Some older. So uh, some younger. So those people might have a real issue with their own mortality. Mm-hmm. And you know reaching out and like feeling sorry for someone else actually scares the shit out of them. Yeah. Right. And they yeah. don't know what to do. And it's easier for them to just do nothing right. and pretend <clears throat> because then they don't have to deal with their own feelings and their own. I mean, it's completely selfish for sure. Well, but, but on a subconscious level, so there, it's not selfish on a conscious level. It's like, no, it's all about me. But I think subconsciously we end up doing that. Yeah. And I'm, <clears throat> I can be, I can be like that okay, with some people, right? Like, no, yeah, you're, I just you're, don't want to deal with it. You're more of just a jerk. Well, but that's fine. You're a very caring jerk. <laughs> you are. Sometimes. No, you are. I am. This guy's been good for us. Well, you've yeah. been you've been good for me, man. Well, anybody with a bar next door? <laughs> Although I did supply my own liquor this time. This time. Mm -hmm. One every 20 times, you know. <laughs> no, uh, remember, I'm a jerk. <laughs> I have to pretend like I'm doing something good, but really, I'm just masking the fact that I'm an asshole. Because that's part of life, is that's learning right. how to mask our assholeness. That's right. Um, I think there are people like that, that are just, and then they don't know what to do, th and, that's then the other one. and then they're yeah. ashamed, and it's like, oh, well, if I reach out now, they already probably think I'm an asshole, so I just... That's what I was right? going to say. When you it's get like enough time that goes effect. by, yeah. then you're going, I can't, I can't. Okay, uh, a similar thing, but in a more funny venue is like when I see someone at church, I should know this person's name, and I don't. <laughs> and I can't say, what, what was your name again? <laughs> I can't yeah. say that because I should know. They know my name, and I don't know I'm this. usually good with names, so when I forget someone's name, like, I feel awful. And I just I run and hide like I'll run and hide like I don't want to see that person. Like, but then another person will walk by, I'll be like, oh hey. And the next thing you know, you're beating him with a bat in the cafeteria. <laughs> That's what it was. It must have been. He was so ashamed that he just had to kill the guy instead of just asking him his name. But hey, I don't have to ask him his name if he's dead. We're laughing over somebody's death. That's <laughs> that's really bad. bad. Uh... Oh man, I was listening to something else and they were talking about. Bill Gates interview, right when they were giving him shit about uh, Epstein. Mr. Epstein is and buddy. When he said, when he said, well, he's dead, so you know, <laughs> like <laughs> straight faith, like what the hell, man? I know, I know. My son works for that evil bastard. No, he doesn't. Well, okay, indirectly he does. Well, then he works for me because I own Microsoft stock too. I don't because I don't. I don't own stuff. Okay, wait. Well, I, I you own it. Moderna. So it's like, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Moderna, but Microsoft is so bad. <laughs> all right. I'll, uh, Mr. I'll grant you that one. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Vaccine deaths over here, but hey. I'm a bad guy because we make software. <laughs> okay. You got me on that one. All right, I'll shut up. No, I won't. Um... But I, it, it is fascinating to see that, and, and yet you know these people do not mean any harm, because um, a few of them I know really care, yeah. but I think, I think we get ourselves so damn busy. And the machine we, just takes over. We fill our lives. It's very easy to fill your life with all kinds of shit yeah. that's just stupid. Which yeah, is like which, that wine and cheese and meat in front of the TV. Uh, yeah, that's why you're cutting it. You're not really cutting TV. That's what you're trying to cut. No, I I am trimming it back though. You don't watch that much TV. I'm either. thinking about giving up coffee too. But uh, but I'll Maybe have tea. You, oh. No way!
Oh my gosh, 30 minutes went by way too I haven't even gotten into my margarita yet. Well, I guess we're having an extended version so Mr. Okay. Alcoholic here can drink his margarita. What time is it? I I, it's know. not It's not midnight yet. I can drink a lot it's more. It's 9.41. Even my wife encouraged me to drink as much as I can tonight. <laughs> okay, she didn't put it that way. Actually, she didn't encourage me to do that at all. But that's how, what I heard. That's what you heard, yeah. You know, you forgot her name. She hit her in the head with a bat. People ask me, why do you call her the fetching missus? Because I forgot her name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. All right, so while I was in Hawaii, what? tell me something <clears throat> interesting. Oh, that happened while you were in Hawaii. Well, I got a new truck. Oh, you did get a new truck. It is yeah. a new, well, it's not new. Hey man, it only had 4,800 miles on it. It's 2022, that's, that's still cool. and it smells like a new truck. I do love a new car smell. I love the smell of glue and plastic. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I I and put gasoline. that under my pillow and every gasoline. night. I love the smell. My of wife gasoline. hates it, but glue and plastic under yeah. the pillow, yeah. pleasant dreams. Especially the glue is right here. You have really good dreams. Yeah. Man, when I was in Hawaii, I could not, like, I could not sleep. Why? I don't... Because you were drinking. No, but Wait, that makes no I sense. sleep here. It was weird. Like, every night it was, like, constantly, like, dreaming and awake, and dreaming and awake, and then dreaming and awake, and then dreaming and awake, and I never really felt like I ever really went to sleep. Wow. The whole time. Why do you think that is? I was... Staying with my father-in-law. <laughs> no, but it's, it. it's no. I don't think it's that because it, when I, even when I stayed at Murph's, it wasn't as bad. But like I wake up really early. It's just weird. It's different there. Hmm. It's different. Same in Huna, kind of. Like I wake up early and explain to the viewers what a Huna is. Huna. It's not a hookah. It's a Huna. Huna is a, a lovely town. 20 minute flight west of Juneau where I spend uh, many uh, days fishing and I will summer there when I retire. Whether the missus likes it or not, she will be coming with me. Oh, good thing she doesn't watch this. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. No, she, I, I have to buy a $300,000 boat to make sure she comes with me. Oh, nice. I picked my boat. You know, I, I used to, oh man, every year I would go to the boat show because I used to just dream of having a boat because I used to teach scuba diving yeah and I really like the idea of having my own boat going out there and diving <laughs> wherever I want to go diving and ooh if I get a boat in Huna and you're not dead yet <laughs> then maybe you could bring yet. your like uh, your super <clears throat> warm gear oh man no that's that stuff has corroded it's been so long my, my dry you suit buy new a dry suit yeah and you could go diving where the you humpback whales are. That would be awesome. I would love to do that. The problem is... Right off my boat. And I'm going to get one of those that has the... It's a landing craft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the front comes down and you just step off the edge and you just get right on. You don't have to like go over the side. I can pull up like... Oh, it's kind of fun going over the side. You sit down there and you pull your bass. Yeah. But getting up is That's harder. That's really cool. Getting up is harder. You can just step off the edge. Not, not when you're a pro like me. Uh-huh. You're going to you be just, like 80 by the time I can afford a boat. So <laughs> you might not be able to do there it then. Is that. I'll break a hip trying to get back on your boat. And that's in the water. <laughs> you know you're fragile when you break your hip trying to swim. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay, it's almost gone. And then you have to make a margarita mm -hmm. or it's already done? Mm -mm. I haven't made the margarita yet. Pinky so we'll put up. this on pause. Pinky up. No, no. Oh. Pinky up. No, pause yet. Pinky up. Uh, why are you pausing? To make the margarita? To make my margarita. Okay, we're going to pause then, I guess. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, leave that out. Margarita. Because tomorrow, it well, not when you see this. Yesterday was National Margarita Day. Cheers. Wednesday is National Margarita yeah, Day? Yeah, tomorrow. For us. Good Yesterday thing, for them. Good thing I don't like margaritas. Actually, they're not bad. They just have a lot of sugar. Yeah. Yeah. But if I use that sugarless thing, that, then you that could have a margarita. I could. But if it's the right tequila. 
I should have brought. Maybe I should. You should have told me, uh, and I would have brought that, and we could have had margaritas the whole time. I didn't. I didn't think of that. Okay, so wait, we were gonna go long because you needed to drink your margarita. He's right. a, he's an alcoholic. On his last drink. Congratulations. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, until next time. Have fun in your rabbit hole. Yeah. Or have cabana fun. hole. Have fun in your cabana hole. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> until next time. Cheers. Have fun in your cabana hole. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs>